Welcome back to the Halftime Show on the PAC Sports Network. And we're joined now by Kyron Mitchell of the WJ Presidents, fantastic junior player for WJ. Kyron, thanks for taking the time today. No problem. Thanks for having me. Now, it's been an outstanding season for both you and the WJ Presidents overall. With the 11 wins to this point in PAC play, WJ has tied the single season program record for conference wins. What's the atmosphere like on campus and among you and your teammates? Um, it's a really fun time. I mean, a lot more people are like coming up saying hi to us. Like, I, they, they they enjoy watching us play, and we enjoy having them here. Like, it's always like our home games are really fun because our the students bring bring a lot of energy. And then after the games, we're we're a really fun group. So we we like ha- we have fun, and it's it's a good time. A Swiss Army knife for W and J. You do a little bit of everything, and you do it well. You lead the PAC in steals. You rank in the top five in scoring and rebounding as well. What's your take on how the season has gone for you, and how hard have you worked on becoming one of the best all-around players in the PAC? Um, I think it's going well. I mean, I I could care less about scoring a lot or whatever as long as I'm, my team's winning. So I think that's just a fruit of us being well and like everyone trusting me to do what I can do. But I mean, just, just winning is fine enough for me. Additionally, you were named the male scholar athlete of the month for December in the president's athletic conference. What's it mean to you to receive that type of recognition for your efforts in the classroom? Um, it was, I was like really surprised by it because I didn't, I didn't really know because Aaron asked me about it and I like sent in a resume. So, but I didn't understand like how like cool it would actually would be. So that I was really like surprised and pleased with getting that award. Coach Ethan Stewart-Smith has raved about how much you've improved from a physical standpoint and your skill set standpoint as well since you've arrived at WNJ. Was there anything specifically that you attribute to your maturation as a player at WNJ? Uh, I just think my wanting to get better and seeing that, especially this year, I knew that a lot of people would be leaving that played a lot of minutes and then that a lot of the – a lot of uh, – stuff would fall on me. So I, I knew that I didn't want to let the team down. So I knew I had to do better for that. And prior to W and J, you played at Burke's Catholic on the Eastern side of the state where you were a two year starter, led the team in three pointers as a senior as well. What was your experience like in high school and how did that help prepare you for college basketball? Um, it was, it was a good experience. I think uh, I really like, I enjoyed playing uh, defense and we played a lot like our teams. Like we, I think our, my uh, junior year, we like average giving up 32 points a game. So like that type of mindset, I think carried me over here and like taking pride on defense. Defense first always. And uh, now your younger brother, Stevie, uh, is a freshman basketball player at Marquette and was the 2021 Pennsylvania uh, Gatorade player of the year, boys basketball player of the year from Westlawn Wilson High School. Um, how proud are you of your brother and his accomplishments? And, and how do you two help each other out in terms of, uh, you know, training in the off season as well? Um, he's like, I'm really proud of him because that, I think he, he, if you see how hard he works, you understand how deserving he was of that. And just how much like fun he has when he's playing. Like he, and he enjoys like being around everyone, like all the little kids, they, they enjoy him so much. And it's just cool to see. And I think uh, training wise, we like he if anything, he pushes me more because he's always like he always wants to like get better. So I can't at some point I'm like, I just can't let him go by himself. So it, it works out. And from an article I had read about the both of you uh, and you in particular, it, it indicated that there was a training regiment from Marquette that he had received. And, and you both basically applied yourselves to that same regiment. Uh, talk about that and how that's worked out for you. Uh, it was really, it was fun because uh, we actually, so like we started off lifting together in the beginning of it. And then because of school, I like had to switch up. So I, one of my close friends, uh, his name's JC. He like, he like went to the gym and lifted with me and I had a really close bond with him. And then Stevie went with one of our friends and he has a close bond with him too. His name is Alex. He like works at New Age Hoops. So like that, and then that was just a, it was really cool to like have those two like in our corner and like helping us. With the assistance uh, of yourself, of course, this WNJ team tops the PAC in scoring, averaging almost 90 points per game. Uh, with a new fast-paced system installed this season by the president's coaching staff, how well does this style suit the WNJ personnel and skill set? And how much of a transition, if there was one, uh, of the guys in learning it? It seems like you all adapted rather quickly. Yeah, I think 
from the beginning of the season, we started conditioning three times a week. And from there, we, like, all bought in. And I think it, it suits us well because we have a lot of guys that can hoop, like, and some of them don't even take as many shots as they could just because of how, like, our structures work. But they we have a lot of guys that can go out and get, like, I think against Franciscan, Dirk and Zay had 16 apiece, and it was just a very efficient 16. So it was, like, it's really cool to see. And, like, everyone's happy when everyone does well. So it's a good system, and everyone's able to profit from it. And having defeated and played with some of the top teams in the PAC and out of conference as well in the region, what do you feel WJ needs to do to go deep in the PAC tournament this season and claim a championship? Uh, I think we just need to keep doing what we're doing and make sure that uh, we always believe in like that we're the best team in the conference. And if we do that, I think we'll be I think we'll be fine because our coaches put out a game plan for us and we execute it, 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 it'll work. So it's just about maintaining that type of focus and being able to continue throughout the whole season. Now you're just a junior yet, but tell us about your studies and what your plans are for the future. So I'm majoring in econ and uh, philosophy, and I want to go to law school after this to be a sports agent. That's my main goal. That's Kyron Mitchell of the, of the WNJ presidents having a fantastic season, certainly in the conversation for PAC player of the year. Kyron, continue the good work and, uh, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll have more coming up in a moment on the PAC Sports Network.